In this lesson, 4.2.335, we're going to take a closer look at anaerobic respiration. Uh, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define fermentation and describe lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. Today, most living things use oxygen to make ATP from glucose. However, many living things can also make ATP without oxygen. This is true of some plants and fungi and also of many bacteria. These organisms use aerobic respiration when oxygen is present, but when oxygen is in short supply, they use anaerobic respiration instead. Certain bacteria can only use anaerobic respiration. In fact, they may not be able to survive at all in the presence of oxygen. An important way of making ATP without oxygen is called fermentation. It involves glycolysis, but not the other two stages of aerobic respiration. Many bacteria and yeast can carry out fermentation. People use these organisms to make yogurt, bread, wine, and biofuels. Human muscle cells also use fermentation. This occurs when muscle cells cannot get oxygen fast enough to meet their energy needs through aerobic respiration. There are two types of fermentation, lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. In lactic acid fermentation, pyruvic acid from glycolysis changes to lactic acid. So remember, in glycolysis we start with glucose, and in glycolysis glucose is split in half to form pyruvic acid. Now, if oxygen's not present, that pyruvic acid cannot enter into the mitochondria. So it'll, it'll stay in the cytoplasm and it's going to ferment. And in fermentation, the NADH that was produced from glycolysis, so you see this in the figure right now, the NADH, those two NADH molecules were formed during glycolysis. When glucose was split in half, those NADH, they were NAD plus and they picked up two high energy electrons to become NADH. But you see, since that pyruvic acid didn't enter the mitochondria, the NADH also had nowhere to go. So that NADH is going to dump those high energy electrons back onto pyruvic acid. Remember that pyruvic acid was formed when glucose was split and the high energy electrons were harvested from the carbon-carbon bonds. That's when that NADH was formed, but now it's going to turn around and it's going to dump those high energy electrons right back on pyruvic acid. And when it does, pyruvic acid becomes lactic acid and it frees up NADH back to NAD+. Well, NAD plus is what it takes in order to split more glucose. So the point of this fermentation is that it frees up this NAD plus in order to split more glucose to form a couple more ATP molecules. So let's take a look at it again from this diagram. Lactic acid fermentation produces lactic acid in NAD+. The NAD plus cycles back to allow glycolysis to continue. So when the NAD plus is freed up because of fermentation, it goes back and it can split another glucose molecule to continue to produce more ATP. Each circle represents a carbon atom here. Did you ever run a race and notice that your muscles feel tired and sore afterwards? This is because your muscle cells use lactic acid fermentation for energy. This causes lactic acid to build up in the muscles. It is the building up of lactic acid that makes the muscles feel tired and sore. In alcoholic fermentation, pyruvic acid changes to alcohol and carbon dioxide. Uh, this is shown in the figure. NAD plus also forms from NADH, allowing glycolysis to continue to make more ATP. This type of fermentation is carried out by yeasts and some bacteria. It is used to make bread, wine, and biofuels. 
Alcoholic fermentation produces ethanol, and that's an alcohol, and it also frees up NADH to NAD+. The NAD+, allows glycolysis to continue because it can go back and attach to another glucose molecule, helping to split it in half, or glycolysis. Uh, have your parents ever put corn in the gas tank of their car? They did, if they're using gas containing ethanol. Ethanol is produced by alcoholic fermentation of the glucose in corn and other plants. This type of fermentation also explains why bread dough rises. Yeasts in bread dough use alcoholic fermentation to produce carbon dioxide gas. The gas forms bubbles in the dough, which causes the dough to expand. The bubbles also leave small holes in the bread after it bakes, making the bread light and fluffy. In summary, fermentation is a way of making ATP from glucose without oxygen. There are two types of fermentation, lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation changes pyruvic acid to lactic acid and forms NAD+. The NAD+, allows glycolysis to continue so that it can make more ATP. Alcoholic fermentation changes pyruvic acid to ethanol, an alcohol, and carbon dioxide and forms NAD+. Again, the NAD+, allows glycolysis to keep making ATP.